Okay, I'm just gonna do this video of my Creality Ender Screen Neo. Um, it's a pretty common problem. You can hear that little clicking. As it's trying to push filament, um, it's having trouble pushing as much as it wants to through the nozzle. So I changed the nozzle this morning. And if you don't know how to do that, you're just going to come over and max out your nozzle temperature um, to 250. Get it really good and hot. You're going to use the little wrench that's provided. Watch out while it's printing. Here's the little wrench. And then you're going to turn out the nozzle. Um, just handle it with the wrench and turn it and let it fall to the print bed because it is at 250 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. Um, and then here's the new nozzles. Um, and you'll have to, when you're threading in the new nozzle, just make sure it's the same nozzle size. These are 0.4 uh, millimeter nozzles, just as stock comes. And when you thread it into the heater block, just be careful not to handle it too much because it's going to get hot pretty much as soon as the threads grab. So as soon as the thread grabs, then you can use the wrench and tighten it back up when it's at 250. Give it a good snug. And then you're gonna have to do um, your Z offset again um, after putting it in a new nozzle because chances are it's not going to be the exact same uh, depth as the previous one. But when your uh, printer is exhibiting this ticking and huh, maybe not doing it right now but obviously there's still a problem because it can't push it all out what I like to do is come over here to the menu and just try some things now I've already tried um, raising my temperature to the maximum of my filament which is 225 but that doesn't mean you can't go beyond what your what your film is so you can just try it in five uh, degree intervals until that ticking goes away okay another thing to check when you're doing that is to check your fan speed and make sure that your fans going see so it just ticked again when it's doing the infill on the inside it's printing a little bit faster and it's not keeping up but going up to 230 did not fix my problem and my fan speed is maxed. I know it goes to 255, right? But make sure your fan speed is maxed out when you have that clicking going on because um, you could have filament backing up um, into your heat break area and that that's no good. So if you have it nice and the head nice and cool, that's good. Check your cooling fans to make sure there isn't a whole bunch of dust bunnies uh, plugging things up. But as you can see, uh, mine's still clicking after the new nozzle and after playing with these temperatures, right? I can go a little higher. But I have a feeling this one's not gonna go away. Let's just wait for this temperature to come up. I don't want to do my whole print at 235. Um, I still want a decent quality print here. So this print is going to be under extruded, uh, mainly because of that clicking means that the gear is slipping and the filament's not going as far as the printer or the program is trying to push it through the G-code. So this, this model will be under extruded. Doesn't mean that it can't do a really decent job still. Okay, this isn't a terrible model. Um, I'm going to let it print out, but I'm going to want to fix this problem. So where I'm going to go next is, it looks like the 235 didn't make a difference. I'm going to back it back to the maximum of the filament. And I shouldn't have to go to the maximum of the filament to get it rolling. If I had this clicking going on when I was at, when I had the nozzle against the bed, I would say maybe my Z offset or something could be off, but that can't be a thing here because I'm in the middle of my model. I'm at a point to later height, so um, this is all good. Where I'm going to go from here is this tube. 
right here where it goes into the hot end. I'm guessing um, the tube has gotten hot and is all distorted and stuff in there. The Capricorn blue, blue tubing that you get is better for her high temperature. And if you've ever done some stuff flirting with, you know, doing PETG, you do 230, 240 prints, sometimes this white tubing just wasn't meant for that. So if you've only printed PLA and kept your temperature low, your tubing stays in pretty good shape, but I've definitely printed PETG with this thing. So the next thing will be to pop this tube out and then um, take a look at how much of it is burnt. Because it's the first time this one has been apart, I should be able to just cut off um, about half an inch or so of the tube and then stick it back in and that should fix my problem. So if you're having this same problem, I wouldn't necessarily jump to that stage. I would definitely change the nozzle first because the nozzle could be clogged. You can try um, what I showed you here. And in the short term, you can also just turn down your printing speed and it shouldn't click as much. But I've done that on this printer and it's still clicking. The clicking went away for about 20 minutes on this print and it's back. So I'm very much suspecting now this too, um, which makes sense. I've done a lot of printing with it. It's time to swap it out. I've got some blue Capricorn. So um, anyways, that's a little tutorial I thought I would do about if your Ender 3 is doing the dreading, dreaded clicking. Of course, you could just ignore it and your models will probably still turn out pretty decent. Um, but that gear gets fairly worn in there. It leaves a lot of um, filament debris behind and you'll start noticing that you're going to be start building up small specks of filament coming out of your uh, extruder motor there. Hopefully this video is helpful to you and uh, maybe I'll show the next video with it fixed. Um, but of course, right now, if you look at it, it looks like um, it's doing just fine, but I think it's because it's doing the outside layers and I have the outside layers set to a slower speed. I could also go into the slicer and just slow down the speed for the infill, but hey, you paid money for this under three. It should print um, at a high speed the way it was designed to print. Yeah, see there's a click right there, even at the 75 speed. So, all right, hopefully that's helpful to you and will help you fix your problems.